as you can see, I picked up something new, guys. I picked up another Lossy NASCAR, guys. Today, I have the number eight Kyle Busch Lucas Oil car, guys. This thing looks absolutely awesome. Check out the color scheme. We're gonna get it unboxed very quickly. I know you guys have seen a thousand of these unboxing videos. I also did an unboxing video on the Bass Pro and went through it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do a speed through rendition of this unboxing, guys. Of course, you've already seen this box a thousand times. This is Kyle Busch number eight, 2024 20, Chevrolet Camaro. This is the ZL1 Camaro, guys. So let's get this thing out of the box. All right, guys, as you can see, this car looks absolutely awesome display, guys. But of course, we want to really see this thing out of the box. So let's go ahead, get this car out of the box, take it for a rip, and of course, let you know my final thoughts on the Groms. As you know, I have been the biggest Grom hater. I have been the one saying I will not spend my money on those Groms. But guess what, guys? I found one that performed like I needed to, and I went ahead and pulled the trigger, guys. As you can see, I got two, but let's get this one out of the box. All Let's right, check. guys, here it is. Whoo wee That color is actually popping super hard. That blue, man. Check it out, guys. I can only imagine what this thing is going to look like out in the sun, man. Because under these lights, it looks very good, but I know out in the sun, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, I definitely think I picked the right vehicles. But yeah, the Lucas livery on this car looks very awesome, guys. They do have the same wheels on both cars. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. Same wheels on both cars. Somebody asked me last night on the live stream, were the wheels the same on all the cars? And absolutely, they are the same uh, Goodyear tires, the Goodyear Eagles. So yeah, let's pop these body pins. Of course, they all the uh, same underneath. I like these cars, I like the platform, I like the way they set up. They definitely very nice cars. Like I said, independent suspension, oil field shocks, uh, three wire servo, all in one ESC. Does have a motor fan blowing cool air back toward that motor to try to keep that motor a little cool. Uh, that 1400 milliamp hour battery. Does have a nice, a nice uh, front splitter up here in the front as well as it has a nice diffuser right here in the back, guys. So that's that's very nice. I like that diffuser, that rear diffuser, as well as that front splitter. Um, the design definitely keeps these cars planted from what I seen uh, when I was driving my Bass Pro, guys. I definitely like the way they perform, but we're gonna see. I'm not gonna do any type of brushless conversions right the second, but we will see what the future holds, guys. But Let's get outside, let's test this thing out, and let's see how well. I like the Kyle Bush, man. Of course, I like a couple more, but we're gonna hold off on buying some more. We probably just gonna buy bodies. Lucas Oil, we have the Chevrolet Camaro ZR, ZL1, and we have the Toyota Camry, the Bass Pro Toyota Camry, guys. So I picked two different models. I definitely wanna pick up that Blaney Menards vehicle as well. Um, I like the color on it, and they say that thing glows in the dark. Yeah, I like these cars, man. I definitely like them, man. What y'all think about them? Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, man. Bass Pro, Lucas Oil, Menards, uh, Napa, Hendrick Motorsports, or Horizon. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, guys. And if you plan on picking one up, let me know in the comments below which one you plan on picking up, man. But I definitely like this blue color, man. This blue color is definitely popping out in the sunlight, man. I know it's gonna pop out in the sunlight, so we're gonna get out, we're gonna test them out, and we're gonna see how well I like them, man. Uh, of course, they come with this little, the same little SLT2 control that comes with the Groms, comes with the SX24s, and it comes with the boost line of cars, guys. But like I said on my last video, I feel like this plastic is definitely a different plastic that was on the boost line of cars, because I had one of these controls that I let go with my SX24. Uh, because you can bind these transmitters to the Spectrum receivers, whether they the SX24 receivers or the regular receivers that Spectrum offers. You can bind them to, that, to those as well. So if you want to keep this small transmitter, you definitely can keep it. But what comes in the package, of course, you get your instruction manual, you'll get some stickers, and you get the charger. That's what comes in your little package. And, of course, on the back, you see all of the metal upgrades, the adjustable A-arms, for your front and rear 
and you get metal CBDs, metal hubs, very nice upgrades, and a metal heat sink to keep that motor a little cooler, draw some of that heat off that motor. I may look into picking up those right there. That's definitely something I might think about picking up those metal heat sinks. But yeah, guys, these are the upgrades for the 112 scale Losi NASCAR. But that's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. My little nose, my Losi NASCAR, man, this is the Kyle Busch. I got it, Martin Truex Jr. We definitely gonna get out and run them. Both of them are exactly the same underneath. Nothing is different, exactly the same. Of course, the Truex Jr. is a little dirty. I have ran it a few times, but yeah, they're exactly the same. Independent suspension, 1400 milliamp hour, 30C discharge, LiPo, all-in-one ESC, brush motor with a fan to cool that motor down, independent suspension, uh, plastic oil field shocks. You do have metal CBDs in the front and plastic, uh, metal CBDs in the front and metal dog bones in the rear, guys, so yeah. Very nice platform. Yeah, we definitely gonna do some circuit racing, so definitely be on the lookout for that, man.